What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're talking about the brand new thank you tickets or gift cards or whatever you want to call them that we just got on Global. And the way these work is that every single ticket you get can be exchanged for one unit from a pool of 77 SSRs that are available in the Baba Shop. Now of course, I'm really happy we have this and this is freaking awesome. But at the same time, it can be a bit of an overwhelming decision for a lot of people, especially for newer players who aren't really familiar with what these units can do. So today, with this video, I'm hoping that I can make this process a little bit easier, a little bit smoother for you guys. And of course, I can't give exact recommendation for every single person for which units they should pick because your choices are really based on what your box looks like, what units you have already, what units you're missing, and also what teams you're trying to build. So instead, I'm gonna go through each and every single one of these 77 units, give you my opinions on them, and also do like a top two or three picks for each of the types. And hopefully by the end of this entire process, you guys will have a better idea of which units are good, as well as which units are the best fit for your personal account. Now before we jump into it, I just wanna make it clear that everything I say in this video is my personal opinion. I'm not saying it's fact, I'm not saying it's the best analysis, it's just my opinion on these units. And if there's something that I say that you guys disagree with, that's totally cool, because that's how the world works. People have different opinions, so I hope you guys are cool with that. With that out of the way, let's just jump right into it, and we're going to start with the AGL units first. And we're starting off with a, actually a very strong unit in Super Saiyan Blue Goku. He is a very solid hitter for a Super AGL team or a uh, Super or a Realm of Gods team as well. So if you guys are looking for a sub for one of those teams, he's actually a very solid choice and definitely one of the better units in the AGL pool. Moving along, this Dab Tanks, um, he's not the worst, but he's really not that good. I don't think he's worth your time, so I would say to stay away from him. On the other hand, this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is actually a very good support unit once awakened. I believe he gives AGL and SDR types key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 25%. So if you guys are missing a solid support for your Super AGL team, then I'll pick him up for sure. Uh, this GT Goku, not worth your time. This Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku is actually a really good... Well, he's decent. He's, he's a decent sub for sure for Super Saiyan 3, Super AGL, etc. So he wouldn't be a bad choice for you guys either. What else do we have here? Okay, this Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is very similar to the Goku up here. He is really solid. Um, he gets a little bit more defense. I believe 80% defense on his passive when awakened, but a little bit less attack than the Goku. But an interesting thing to note is that this Vegeta is actually the best linking partner for this Goku. So if you guys have one of the two, then I'll pick up the other one so you can link them up together on a, on a Super AGL team. Or you can just pick up both of them and run them together. They're actually really, really good together on a Super AGL team. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, oh, this Super Saiyan, yo, this God Coup is probably the best AGL unit in this entire pool. It's very strong on a Super AGL team, very strong on Realm of Gods as well. Links great with the other units on that team as well. So, uh, yo, I would definitely pick him up if you guys if you guys don't have him and you're looking for an AGL unit. Really, really solid choice. Now, with this ultimate Gohan, he's a bit of a question mark because right now he's not the greatest, but I do feel like he will get an Extreme Z Awakening sooner than later. So, once he does get an Extreme Z Awakening, he could be super, super strong. So, if you guys are looking to improve your teams right now, then he's probably not the best choice, but for future potential, he actually could be a good pickup. Now this Goten is a good choice as well. He hits quite hard when awakened, but he's not, in my opinion, as good of a choice as the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, so I'll choose the Goku over him. Uh, this Waifu Mai actually, I believe, is getting an awakening on JP sometime soon, but that awakening won't get to global at least for another like six months or so. So for the time being, she can be an okay support. Key plus two, uh, three, attack and defense plus 2,000. Uh, the key is good, the attack and defense is not great, the flat boost is not good, but like I said, she could get a decent awakening in the future, so she wouldn't be a terrible choice, but not the best choice right now. Stay the hell away from this Vegeta, he is so bad. <laughs> so, so bad, even with his awakening, he's still terrible. Um, this Golden Frieza though is one of the best tanks in the game, so a good uh, super or extreme AGL sub. 
This Bojack is solid as well, some decent damage. Um, this Turles is good, and especially if you have the AGL um, category lead Turles, the one that's the movie boss's lead, he is the best thinking partner for him. The two of them give each other 85% attack in links, so if you have the AGL movie boss's Turles, then I would definitely pick this guy up and link them up together. Uh, what else? This Android 17 is a solid support unit for Extreme AGL. And uh, this Android 18 is actually a really good Awakened unit. So he's she's not available. Did I say he or she? I don't know. Either way, <laughs> she's not that good right now. But on JP, she actually has a very solid Awakening. So she wouldn't be a bad pickup either. And those are all the AGL units. In terms of the best ones from this pool, I would definitely go with uh, this God Ku number one. And the other two, I would probably go with the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So those are the best choices, in my opinion, for the AGL units. Let's move right along to the next type now, and that would be the tech types. Okay, so Grade 8 Bardock. Very good unit. Um, hard hitter when awakened and also has the chance to turn to a great ape and now great apes have been buffed because they get to keep their hidden potential uh, abilities so he's even better than before so good choice uh, stay away from this Super Saiyan 2 Goku, stay away from this Vegeta, stay away from this Whis <laughs> this PyCon is not good either now this Goku is interesting so by himself he's not that good but he is the tech type uh, nuke lead. So he, you can see his leader skill, tech allies attack plus 30% per tech key sphere obtained. So if you guys are interested in doing some nuke tests with some tech type units, then he would be a good pickup. But otherwise, by himself, he's not that good. Um, the Super Saiyan 2, the Super Saiyan Bardock actually isn't too terrible. Okay, no, I, I take that back. He's He's, he's quite good, he's quite good. He is a good orb changer and gets a little bit of attack on his passive as well. And he's also the best linking partner for the OG Tech LR Goku. So um, he wouldn't be a bad pickup either for Super Tech. Uh, Super Saiyan Kid Trunks is a decent tank and can do some okay damage too. And he actually doesn't have an awakening yet. So as, as decent as he is right now, once he gets an awakening, he should be even better. So he wouldn't be a bad pickup for you guys. Um, this future Teen Trunks is uh, very mediocre. And even with an awakening, very mediocre. So I wouldn't say he's a terrible choice, but I wouldn't really, I wouldn't personally pick him if I'm missing some of the other tech types. This kid Gohan is not great either, but he doesn't have an awakening either. So he could be good post awakening. Um... This Gohan, not the greatest, so probably a skip for most people. It's Majin Vegeta as well, unless you want to pick him up just to boost the super attack of the LR Majin Vegeta. I would stay away from him too. Uh, this Boo, this Boo, he... He's not that good. No, he's not that good. <laughs> he, he's okay. He's like, he's like, you know, okay, but not the best choice. Uh, this Cooler can do some okay damage. I believe, I believe he gets 90% attack on his passive once he awakens, so... Not too bad, but also not the best choice. Uh, this Boo, once awakened, is not great. And uh, this 18 is like the Mai I just talked about. She will get an awakening on JP sometime soon, but that's not coming to global anytime soon. And since we're talking about global, um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend picking her up now. And she's also available on every single banner, so chances are you'll probably accidentally summon her when you're going for like an, an LR or something like that. So. Um, I, would, I wouldn't pick her, no, I wouldn't pick her right now. But as far as the tech types go, the best ones in this pool are definitely this Bardock, um, this Kid Trunks, and hmm, from the extreme types, I would probably go with this Cooler, honestly. Yeah, this Cooler is probably the best out of the extreme types. But yeah, yeah, those are my top choices. I'll definitely go with the Bardock if you guys are missing him. Oh, the other Bardock too. The other Bardock is quite decent too. This this uh, other tech Bardock. So the, so the two Bardocks plus the Trunks and possibly the Cooler. So there you go. Those are the tech types. Now let's move on to the int types. And there's quite a few here as well. Actually, not that many. Okay, so starting from the top, this Vegeta... He's a nuker, but he's not that good. <laughs> um, this Whis is actually quite a solid support for Super Int as well as Realm of Gods. Um, I believe he gives key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 25% as well once he awakens. So 
yeah, um, I, I wouldn't mind taking him as a support if you guys are missing a support. Um, this Goku, this God Ku is not nearly as good as the uh, AGL God Ku. I mean, he still wouldn't be a bad choice, but um, there are better options here. This Goku is an orb changer, and uh, he's actually quite good on a super in team, especially if you have LR Gohan. So he wouldn't be a bad choice for people that have LR Gohan or have units that need an orb changer. I believe he's an orb changer, actually. Let me, let me just quickly check. Yes, he does. Okay, he's an orb changer. All right. Um, this Goten is very similar to the Tech Kid uh, Trunks, where he is a decent, he's a, quite a decent tank right now, but he could be even better once he gets an awakening. He does have an awakening. He doesn't have an awakening on either version of the game right now, so I'm excited to see how good he can get. And I would honestly say he's not a bad choice either. This Mai doesn't have an awakening, and she's not good, so stay away from her. <laughs> um, this Videl is similar to the other waifu cards, where she could potentially get an awakening in the future and be really solid, but right now she's not good. Uh, this Turtles is okay as a support for Extreme Int. Uh, he gives all Extreme types key plus three, but I believe he also has a HP restriction on that on that passive. So, you know, okay, <laughs> here's the thing. Him, he is a support, right, for Extreme Int, but Metacooler is a way better support. He supports all Extreme types. He also fits on a lot of great teams. So this Metacooler is top tier, guys. If you don't have him, make sure you pick him. Like, if, if you need an Extreme support, make sure you pick him because he is really, really good. Uh, super Baby 2 is the nuke lead for Int types. So, I mean, he, he's better than the uh, Goku we talked about, the tech Goku we talked about, who is the, the nuke lead for tech types, right? This guy actually can do some damage on his own. I believe he gets 100% on his passive for attack, so he's not a bad choice. Um, his Hellfire 17 is okay as well. He, like, not amazing, but not bad, so... Uh, those are th these three. These three are all good choices. This is an amazing choice. This meta cooler is amazing. Okay, so for the tech types, I would go with uh, mm, Whis is a good choice. Goten's a good choice, and meta cooler is a really good choice, and so is Super Baby. So those ones you can't go wrong with. All right, the biggest part of this pool now is the SDR types. There are a lot of them, so uh, <laughs> let's just go through them. Okay, Super Saiyan Bardock, a good support unit. Um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, a decent damage dealer. He's one of the only units in this pool that has immense damage on his uh, super attack, immense damage multiplier on his super attack when he gets awakened. So he's going to do some good damage. Now the Super Saiyan 3 Goku may be the best possible choice out of this entire pool. I, I don't mean just the SDR types. I mean all the units in this pool, all 77, he might be the best choice because he, he has an Extreme Z Awakening that we, that we already know on JP. And it's very strong. He is very, very strong JP right now after his Dokkan Awakening or his uh, Extreme Z Awakening. So I would not fault anybody for picking this guy. I would, I might say like, yeah, I'm fairly confident in saying that he's probably the best choice right now. Before we know anything about other units Extreme Z Awakenings, he could be the best choice right now just because he has that EZA and it's a very good one. So there you go. Um, this Super Saiyan, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is a solid hitter, 100% attack on his passive, just like the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, so he's a good sub for Super SDR. Um, this Goku is not good, this Beerus is okay, he can get, okay, so he can get a lot of attack on his passive, but it is a chance to, to activate his passive, so his passive is like, high chance to increase attack by like 200% or something like that. So when, once that activates, he can do a ton of damage, but because it's a little bit variable on whether or not he can actually get that passive off, I wouldn't really necessarily recommend him. Uh, this Majub is not great. This Android 18 is probably the second best Android 18 in the game next to the tech one. And uh, she, she's good, man. She can get up to 100% attack on her passive. Um, when she's awakened, so you know, a very solid unit. Super Saiyan God Goku, really, really strong. Uh, similar to the AGL God Goku or God Ku, where he is extremely good on Super SDR. He's extremely good on Realm of Gods. And for those people who, for those who don't know, he's actually the best possible linking partner for UI Goku. He he gives UI Goku the biggest buff out of any units you can link him with. So uh, if you you know want the best linking partner for UI Goku. Then you should pick him, and you know, no, you can't go wrong with picking him. He's he's very good. He has also one of the best link sets in the game. Um, 
Super Saiyan Go Tanks. He is uh hmm. No, not good, not good. Stay away from him. Um, this Go Tanks is actually quite good on a Fusions team if you guys are missing a sub for that team. So, you know, he'd be a good choice. Uh, this Goku isn't bad either for Namek Saga. He can actually help you quite a bit because he has. He can help you quite a bit on certain events where the bosses or the enemies do a lot of damage because he can survive a KO attack. So, um, yeah, he wouldn't be a bad pick either. Wait, Pasha. Uh, mm, she's not great either. She's not, she's not that great. She's not that great. So she's 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 a. You can confidently skip her if you want. Um, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku though. This STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is an amazing support unit. Um, he is optimal on Super STR right now, and he is the best a linking partner with a with a STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So him and STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku make a devastating duo. I made a video a while back talking about the dynamic duos of this game and him and uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku were definitely one of my favorite duos and they're one of the best, most well-known ones too. So if you guys don't have him and you can put together a good Super STR team, definitely throw him in there. He's also good for um, a, a Vegito Blue Heroes team as well. And overall, just a really, really solid unit, so amazing, like, he would be an amazing choice, like, you can't go wrong with him. In fact, I need one more dupe, I need one more dupe to rainbow him, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick him up right now. That's how good I, I think he is. Oh, and I also got the Dragon Ball for today. <laughs> there you go, there you go. That wasn't even, that even wasn't even on purpose. Okay, so how to get this, recruit a character with a Dokkan thank you celebration gift card. There you go, guys. If you guys didn't pick up your ball yet, that's how you get it for today. Okay, um, this Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta. Can be quite good. 90% attack and defense on his passive when he's awakened, so he's a good choice. Um, if you're missing some Super Saiyan 3 category units and you can run that team, then you should go for him. Uh, this Super Saiyan Trunks GT is a great Shadow Dragons sub. Uh, he actually might be he might actually might be optimal on Shadow Dragons because there's not a lot of units on that team. He gets 100% on his passive for attack as well once he's awakened, so not a bad choice. Uh, this GT Pan, not good. This Pure Evil Boo, not good. This Raditz, not good. Meta Rildo is an interesting choice. Okay, so he, I feel like he can be very good when he gets an awakening, but right now he doesn't have one, and he's not good, right? He's, he, he's a bad unit right now, but once he gets an awakening, I feel like he can be one of the best tanks in the game, so... If you pick him up, it's for his future potential, not for how good he is right now, and this is Masu sucks. So, like I said, a lot of units in here, and uh, there's a lot of good choices here. So, the best choice, I personally think, is uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but you can't go wrong with this God Koo either. So, number one, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, number two, God Koo, number three, probably Android 18, unless I'm missing something here. Oh, no, 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 okay. Number one, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, number two, Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, number three, God Koo. Um, but this Android 18 is a good choice too. Uh, this Super Saiyan Trunks is also a good choice, and everything else is kind of meh. I mean, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta isn't bad either, but yeah, there you go. Those are the best choices in my opinion. And last but not least, we're moving on to the physical type units. This video is going on for way too long, but like I said, I want to be kind of in-depth. I want to go through every single unit, so hope you guys are okay, and if you guys are watching still, you guys are MVPs, all right? <laughs> uh, this Ultimate Gohan, bit of a question mark because I don't think he has an Awakening. Yeah, I don't think he has an Awakening. I guess he might, he might, but um, just like the other Ultimate Gohan, he could get an Extreme Z Awakening in the future. That could make him really good, but right now he's 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 okay. Um, this Kid Trunks is similar to the AGL Kid Goten. He can hit decently hard, but um, that's pretty much all he can do. This great ape, great ape Goku, Youth Goku. Uh, I would stay away. Not really worth your time. This guy is okay, but not great either. The Super Trunks is not good. This Goku is not good. This Vegeta is he a? Yeah, okay. He is the nuke lead for physical types. So similar to the um, Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku, they're basically the same card. And uh, if you guys want to test some nuke, like do some nuking with physical type cards, then you can go for him. But aside from that, by himself, he's not a great unit. This Barlock is actually quite solid. Um, this Super Saiyan Go Tanks is really good, really good. On a Fusions team, he can do well over a million damage. I have him rainbowed, I'm really happy with him. He is probably one of the better choices out of this entire 77 SSR pool as well, so 
can't go wrong with him. This Pan is a good choice for support for Super Physical, for a even like a Fusions team with LR Vegito as lead, or uh, Shadow Dragons, so she wouldn't be a bad choice for a support unit. Um, this Bulma is not that good. This Sin Shenron is optimal on Shadow Dragons, best linking partner with uh, Omega Shenron. But aside from that, he isn't that good, honestly. Like I tested him out at Rainbow Status, I, I wasn't very impressed by him. But um, I wouldn't say he's a bad unit. If you have Omega Shenron, you don't have him, you can pick him up and uh, they will do some really, really good damage together. And lastly, this Android 17 has a, I believe he has a solid awakening on JP. Um, nothing too crazy, but but good. So he's not the worst choice, but there are better choices in here. And as far as these units go, I would go with... Uh, I mean, th these, these physical units aren't great, but probably the best ones here are this Super Saiyan Gotenks, this Bardock is good, um, this Pan is good as well for support. Sin Shenron is not a terrible choice. But yeah, um, Super Saiyan Gotenks is definitely the best choice out of this, these physical units. And that's going to do it for the list today, guys. I know this video went on super long. I didn't intend it for, intend for it to go that long. But, um, you know, this is important. This is important. I think that it's important that you guys have this video as a resource when you're making your choices. And hopefully, you know, those of you who are a little bit confused and weren't really sure what you should do, now have a better idea of what you should pick and what you should do when it comes to these thank you tickets. All right, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try my best to help you out there. And as always, like I said, it is my personal opinion. Nothing I say here, I'm stating as fact. I'm just saying this is what I think. And uh, if you guys disagree, I'm sorry to hear that. But it's totally cool. You know, we can still be friends, even if you disagree with what I say. And that's it. That's going to do it for the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. And as always, oh, also let me know. Let me know what, you, what units you guys are picking with your seven, up to seven tickets if you choose that Purunga Wish. And uh, that's going to do it for the video. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. And uh, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.